Interesting. And, yeah. So when we're looking at working to failure, we're trying to get more of that lean mass growth with strength. When we get older, because it's so difficult to put on lean mass, we really want to focus on the strength component because that becomes more important when we're talking about longevity. Because if you're looking at the strength component from a central nervous system standpoint, we see it feeds forward into better proprioception, attenuation of cognitive decline. And this is the other thing that you in neuroscience would understand the sex differences in things like dementia and Alzheimer's. There's some really interesting research looking at strength training and that power-based stuff when we're getting into our older ages because we get more neural growth patterns and more neural pathways. Even some interesting literature about emphasizing some unilateral movements as people get older, not mm -hmm. just um, dual limb movements or exactly. dual limb simultaneous movements. And I can't tell you how many emails and DMs I get in a day from women who are like, I'm 46 or I'm 47. I'm putting on body fat. I don't know what's going on. I can't sleep. And then we say it's perimenopause. That's what we want. We want true high intensity work, which is one to four minutes of 80% or more. Or if you're doing sprint interval, it's full gas for 30 seconds or less. And you're doing that a couple of times a week. You're not doing it every day because you need to have enough recovery to hit those intensities truly because those are the intensities that are going to give you those post-exercise hormonal responses to drop cortisol. When we're looking at women who are like, oh, well, I love going out for hours and hours on my bike and I love, you know, doing my spin classes. It's like if I were to go into an advanced like kitchen or, or, um, symphony and, you know, there are all these instruments I don't know how to play. Yeah. So what's the best line of attack for somebody who really wants to overcome this uh, longevity barrier? Mm -hmm. Because clearly resistance training, proper nutrition work. Yeah. And the cardiovascular exercise piece is a little bit more intuitive. Walking, you do it faster. You're jogging, you do it faster. You're running. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bike, the soul cycle class, et cetera. It's just, it's easier in terms of the mechanics. One can still get hurt, but it's just more straightforward. Is there a way that in the absence of a budget for a personal trainer yeah. that somebody can learn how to do these movements and, as you said, ease into them over the course of even up to four months in a way that they can be confident that they're unlikely to get hurt?